Lord, I'm judging me. <laughs> <laughs> I look like a pimp. Who, who titty sitting in that? Why do I have two sizes of the same jeans? Um, I just walked away and I don't know what I walked away for, but so 10 more days until fall. So y'all, I am going to be doing decluttering, declutter, 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 declutter. But it's a lot of things that I'm trying to do for this last quarter of the year. We going into fall, which is my favorite season of all. Oh, that rhyme. So I want to start with my office room. So you guys, my office room it's not that junky but it definitely needs to be decluttered and being that i have a lot of work that i'm going to be doing in, in, in there these upcoming months i need to go <sighs> today was leg day being that i have a lot of work that i'm going to be doing in, in there these upcoming months i want to make sure that the room is clean okay y'all so this is how it looks when you walk in it just looks really cluttered so as you can see i have this is like part of my maternity pillow why it's in here i don't know i have shoes i have luggage these two command strips are on the wall because usually i have a sign up there a dry erase board i have my mirror that is dirty <laughs> and then here is just my off my my mic for my podcast. I have some candles that I do not light. They're just there, just to be there. Lashes because, yeah. You know, just this is stuff for my, um, you know, YouTube and editing and stuff like that. It's not junky, but it's just not organized. And then this is for my main job. But, okay, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all because I don't care. But brace yourselves. <laughs> so this, this is the problem. Yeah. Yeah, this is the problem right here. Do y'all see all of this? It's just hectic. I've been using this as like just a throwaway space. And I'm so mad at myself, y'all, because when it comes down to my makeup, I used to have my makeup so organized. But one thing about me is once it becomes disorganized and I don't get it organized, I just add to the disorganization. So I need to get it organized by getting the brushes together cleaning them getting rid of whatever makeup i don't need also i have some things in here that i don't wear you see the hangers just all over the place books up here cameras just a whole lot a whole lot of i need to get this all situated so we're gonna go through this together <laughs> what should i start with y'all should i start with the easy part and then go hard or start with the hard part and then go easy because baby this is ridiculous okay okay so let's get into this stuff. Like this, who, who, who wearing this? Baby, no. <laughs> so we are going to put this to the side. This outfit right here, I kind of like it. I feel like this would be cute for like, Thanksgiving, Christmas. So I'm going to keep this one. This is a pants and collar shirt set. Okay, so this one, I actually like this one, but by time that, I like this one, but by time that I actually can wear it, hopefully I'm a completely different weight so I think that I'm gonna put this in the giveaway pile. Can I keep this? No, I'm gonna give this away. Y'all, honestly, I'm gonna keep it a butt with y'all. I really just wanna take everything and just give it away. Especially all the summer stuff because by the time next summertime come, I want a completely different wardrobe. So this is just a long black dress. Now this is like a robe, which I wanna say that it have a stain on it somewhere right here but i have never worn this y'all but i feel like i want to keep this though but it's these stains that's doing it for me oh it feel good 
what y'all think? Can y'all see me? Y'all can't even see. Let me back y'all up. <laughs> well, y'all see how long it is? I think I'm gonna keep this. Two. Then I have these. I have never been able to fit these, y'all, but I love these pants. Do you hear me? I oh, Jesus, what is all this? Oh, it's just lint. I love these. Well, it's not lint, but I don't know what it is. Something that can come off the. But do y'all see the material of it? These came from H&M. I have never been able to fit them. But I really like these. So, I am going to be keeping these. I think I may have been able to fit these a long time ago. I feel like I'm going to need some jeans once I get to this size. So, yeah, I'm going to keep these. Now, let me tell y'all about these jeans. I have never worn these jeans, y'all. But I don't know why. I just like them. Like, look at the little patches on it. I just feel like they're so cute. And I don't feel like, like, these are from H&M. It says spread love, not hate. I like these. I'm keeping these. See, this is the problem. This is why I can't declutter. Because I like everything. Okay. Do I want these? Oh, these is American Eagle. Hell yeah, I want these. <laughs> Who knows how much I paid for these? These some just American Eagle black jeans. But at the bottom they have these little, I like the bottom art part. Okay. Also could have never fit these. <laughs> never could fit these a day in my life. Okay. I think I washed them. And the reason why I washed them is because when we moved, they were in boxes that was in storage. And then those boxes end up having bugs in them. So we kept everything in the garage because I was like, we're not bringing this into the house. So I ended up washing them. But I like these though. Like these were like some expensive jeans. You know, H&M sometimes them jeans be like $50. So I'm keeping these. <laughs> Another pair of brand new jeans. $30. These some dress pants. Will I ever need these? See, that's the thing. I don't know. What if I need dress pants? What if I need dress pants? Who knows? You know? Like, what if I need some dress pants? I don't know, y'all. Now, these. <laughs> baby, I'm keeping these. I ain't never been able to wear these a day in my life. But, honey, I am keeping these. Okay? I just love these jeans. Like, they is fire. I've never been able to fit them, but I love them. So when I can't fit them, huh, why do I have two sizes of the same jeans? Oh my gosh. Was I supposed to take these back or something? Do y'all remember them jeans I was just looking at? I don't know if y'all remember. But these are, but these are brand new. Tags still on, still on them. How much were they? $40, $40 size eight. I feel like I just put the same jeans and these are size 12. That's why I couldn't fit that size. So these are the same jeans y'all. Do y'all see that? The exact same jeans. Wow. Now, I bought these from PacSun. Hear me out, okay? I feel like that these could be a vibe. Like, I have never been able to wear them. They still have the tags on them. But I feel like that these would just be cute as hell. When I'm able to fit them, oh my gosh. Like, I just feel like they would be so cute. Just imagine the outfit I could pull off with these. Yeah, I'm keeping these. This jacket was $100. This came from Nordstrom Rack. And this jacket was $100 dollars do y'all see that like should i keep it i mean i like it but it's just not really my style anymore but i feel like sometimes it'd be so hard for me to give stuff away because it's like how do i know i'm never going to need it should i keep it i'm gonna just put this to the side because i don't know if i want to keep it or not now this is from zara i like it but I just feel like, when am I going to wear it? But I feel like that this would be a cute shirt one day to wear on the pod. 
once I actually lose some weight. Okay, I'm gonna keep this. Y'all, I don't know what I was doing. Where, where I'm going? Who, who titties fit in that ass? No, honey, we giving this away. <laughs> so this goes with the pretty little thing outfit. It's so soft, y'all. I'm definitely keeping this. Now this, I got from H&M, you guys, literally for five freaking dollars. Five dollars! It was on sale. This is normal price, 50. I got it for five dollars, but I just don't see myself wearing it. I have not, like, I don't go into the office anymore. So I've never worn it, but I just feel like it's so cute. I think I'm gonna give it away. <sighs> this is so hard. Now this, I wore this before, and I love it. This is from Zara also. This is just like a red. I'm keeping this. I am keeping this. This is a red blazer. I'm keeping this. Now this, I feel like I should keep because this came from a store called Pool and Bear. And I don't even know if they have that store here now, but we got it when we was in Cancun. And I, at that time, they didn't have one that was here. So this is just like a crop denim jacket. And I never wore it before because I've never been able to fit it. But I think this is the only size they had. But I like this though. I'm gonna keep this. Alrighty, are we making progress, yes or no? Okay, so we have this jacket right here. I have actually worn this jacket several times and I actually love it, but it is a little stained, but I'ma still keep it because I do get a lot of wear out of it. Now this is a members only jacket, y'all. And I just don't see myself wearing this because it's just not my style no more. Like I got the little tag on the back, I mean on the side. It's just not me anymore. So I think I'm gonna get this one away. This is a goddess dope hoodie. I'm definitely keeping this. I feel like I'm gonna give this away y'all cause I have tried to wear it and I just can't get with it. Like I will wear it around my waist and I just don't dress like that no more. <laughs> this jacket I got from Old Navy. This is just like a long, like it's real long. I'm not even gonna be able to show y'all because it go all the way down. But I got it from Old Navy when I was pregnant. So I'm gonna just put this in the keep style because it got a stain on it. Maybe I can get the stain out. Now this came from Old Navy also, baby. I'm not getting rid of this. You have to fight me. This is a trench coat. I love it. I love this color. I just love that jacket. This I bought from Pretty Little Thing. Do I see myself wearing this again? I don't know. I'm still up in the air about that one. I got this. Let me tell y'all the story about this jacket, y'all. I bought this jacket from Old Polly. This is when I was living out the apartments. This jacket was left on my front porch literally within 30 minutes. Somebody took it off my front porch. So I tried to contact Old Polly. They was like, unfortunately, that's not our fault. Pretty much long story short, you ain't your money back. So I had to buy another one because I wanted it so bad. And this jacket was like a hundred dollars. But do I need this? This is like a little, this is a bit much. Let me see. Do I really want this? I don't even like how the dead on back don't stay down. I look like a pimp. Maybe it's because I have weight on me that it's just not laying how it should. Should I keep this y'all? Cause it is about to get cold outside. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep this. Maybe once I lose some weight, it'll look better. Everything looks better when you lose weight. This jacket. Do I want this? I think I should keep it just to have a jacket. An extra jacket. <laughs> As if I just did not keep like 10 of them. We are done with the clothes in here. These hangers, I should move them to my actual closet. Hey y'all, I ain't gonna hold you. This is definitely the next day. <laughs> So yesterday what I did was I took the clothes that I said I was not gonna keep. I took them to play those closet. So now let's just go ahead and get finished y'all. If you're wondering why I still look like a bum just like I did yesterday cause I went to the gym. Let's go ahead and get started you guys because I literally have two hours before I have to go get the kids. Have you ever seen something on camera and you and then you look in real life and you be like, is it really that bad? Yes, it's really that bad. All of this stuff just need to move. So this stuff, 
this stuff needs to just go in my actual closet. Okay. What I'm gonna do with this makeup section, I'm gonna do this first. So I got some Lysol wipes. Sorry, it looks so bright. I got my light on. I got Lysol wipes, Lysol spray, and some wet ones wipes for my hands. Pretty much my goal with this is, is to wipe off anything that needs to be wiped off as far as makeup that I'm currently using. Get rid of makeup that I am not using. As far as the brushes, they need to be clean, but I'm not cleaning them right now, but I do want to put them in an the actual brush holder, which hopefully I can find one. Lord, I'm judging me. <laughs> Cause looking at it right now through the, through the camera is ridiculous. But it got like this because majority of the time when I'm trying to rush, it's just, be a rush and it just be all over the place so i definitely need to clean my stuff like my sponges and my brushes but i'm not gonna do that right now but i am gonna get this is gonna be looking way better than this why why is this sock in here I'm going to put all of my brushes in here right now just to hold the space oh my gosh okay so let me just get all the brushes out the way okay is that all the brushes do y'all see any other brushes oh here's one so we have all of the brushes out the way so now what i'm going to do is put everything in this bag that is trash so you see all of what is this one? so far we have four empty things of these <laughs> this is eyebrow pencils but this is one that's actually not this is not empty so i'm just going to keep one of the empty ones because this one is just like a mini so it doesn't have the spoolie this one is a full size so i'm gonna just keep both of these is that oh, trash trash is this trash? I feel like I have two of these. I feel like I have two of these. And I feel like one of them. Look at. Look at this. And I just threw one in the trash. Look at this. This one looks old. This one looks old too. This one feels fairly new. This one feels new too, so I'm gonna keep these two. This is like a little, I'm gonna you keep that because that's I can use that a little bit. Why do I have all these glue sticks in here? Oh, found another brush, you guys. Oh. You know what? I said that I felt like I had two of these, and I do. This is the old one, though. This got to be the old one. This is the newer one. So I'm going to throw this one away. Oh, I'm going to bored here. I'm going to just put that up top right now. These are expensive, so I'm gonna keep that. Why is this in here? Is this expired? Let's say 1121. Yeah, I'll see that. 1121. And I mean, it's expired, huh? Almost a year. Okay. So, okay. So now I need to move this stuff. I know this looks like trash you guys it pretty much is because it broke all up and I had it for so long however I don't want to get rid of it yet because 
I don't know if I will be doing my makeup soon and I'm not going to get a, right, uh, a replacement right now. So I'm just going to keep this and then when I get my replacement, I'll throw this out. So I'm going to just put everything like in a corner over here. I feel like I bought this in, I want to say, I want to say, how, 24 months? Is this two years? I want to say it is. It's coming up on two years. I'm going to just keep it till the end of the year. This I just bought recently, even though it looks old. You know why it looks old? Because all of this junk around it. How many, how long can you keep this? 12 months? Oh yeah, this is definitely old. I think. I gotta see when I bought this. This is camera stuff. Put that up there. I need to get these scrunchies. Oh, hey, like cover. <laughs> Put that up there. Okay. Ooh. All of these little safety pants. <sighs> so let's wipe this down. even want this anymore because it don't stay still like like I be trying to do my makeup like I be trying to put it just like this and it keep moving so I don't like that so I'm gonna throw that away <laughs> set up my makeup like right here based upon the order that I use the stuff so I could just have like the basic stuff and then we got this type of stuff like this you know what I'm gonna put this in a little baggie I'm gonna put this in a makeup bag matter of fact ugh, I could put it in this bag <laughs> this bag it's a little burning on fire I mean, it's a makeup bag, so. Well, I just wiped this stuff off. I'm gonna put in another bag. So this came, this is a makeup brush holder specifically for Sigma brushes and it closed like this. But I'm gonna just separate it and keep it like this and use both of these for the brushes. So let's do that. brushes I don't have room for is this but I really don't use these brushes y'all but this is a Laura Mercier brush and it was like I want to say it was like $40 let me just put it on this side this brush I don't need this is an elf brush so I don't need that but what brush can I get rid of because I can get rid of this one because I don't even use this one anymore. So let's see if we can fit these in here. <laughs> okay, I need another one. Okay, I did say that these two brushes are the same. So, see, this is my problem, y'all. I have attachment issues because... If these two brushes are the same, why won't you just let these two brushes go? This one is the newer one. 
this one is the older one but honestly i like this one more but this one's more cuter i'm gonna just i'm gonna just throw this one away should i throw it away you know what no i'm gonna put it in the bag with the other stuff just in case for any reason this brush i don't know maybe it'll i don't know we'll see you never know what may happen so this is the bag that i have it says boss lady on it so i'm gonna just go ahead and put you see and it's much more cleaner inside i just need to clean this sponge and i'm gonna put the contacts in here this clip in here and just leave it like that okay oh <sighs> so let's work on this stuff over here y'all <laughs> y'all see all this mess y'all i honestly don't know how i got like this i really don't i feel like one of my kids was in here playing hide and seek or something because i don't even i don't know and they shouldn't be because it's glass that has broken okay so this is my mac book well my imac box i really don't want to throw this away because i feel like for this is a good like box like handle and everything and i don't want to throw it away because i'm like what if for whatever reason i move and i need to carry my macbook and i want to protect it so i'm gonna keep this let me get over the fact of how it looks because i'm cleaning it now so what is this i don't even know what this is okay this is a mic which i really don't need this but i'm gonna keep it just in case here, here is the uh, the uh, um, paper for the glue sticks, but I'm going to throw... Oh, wait, I could use this for it, though. I don't know what this was for, but this is perfect because it got a little... Bang. Perfect. This was one of the things that was on my wall, and it broke. Okay. This is, I used to have this in the background of my videos. Does anyone remember that? It light, like you could put the letters right here and it lights up. Maybe I should put this on, I'm, I might use this and put it on my desk. I still want that. This is old work stuff that I do not need anymore. Cause shawty ain't on the phone and I never will be again. Never, 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 never. I'm putting stuff back. Another brush. Do I need this? I don't know. Stuff is just getting put back up here, y'all. Oh my goodness, this glass. Oh, this is my, and this is stuff that I never use, y'all. The Freedom Mom Instant Ice Maxi Pads. Do I know anybody that's about to have a baby? Because I never use these. I mean, I don't want to just throw it away. I'm going to put that to the side. Because ain't nobody, ain't no more babies coming out of here. More glue sticks. Oh my gosh. Like, what the heck? <laughs> Okay, y'all, so I got the glass up. It's makeup, though. I feel like I'm going to have to use something else to get that up. So I'm going to go ahead and add all of my tripods right here. I vacuumed. So let's do that. okay you guys so this is all of my tripods except for the one that y'all on and then my ring light can go in there also I won these for my Crocs. 
I won one D little one these. This girl did like a um like a she asked a question about how many pounds do you think her dog is? Like she make crocs on what we'll design them. And I won. And she sent me all of these. Okay, you think I ain't gonna use this? The heck yeah. Tuh. Fire. It's not even focusing. Can y'all see it? Yes. Oh yeah. So we got the closet organized. I definitely want to invest in a bookshelf. But for now, my books are going to have to be like that. That's not all of my books. Some of my books are in my room. But yeah. So over here, I think I'm going to put my luggage. Because, well, for one, we got to clean up this mess now. But my luggage is over there. And then this luggage right here. So I feel like I need to put that in the corner right there. Y'all saw that the duffel bag was right here. But I really don't like that because when I'm sitting here doing my makeup, it keeps catching my feet. Like, um, my feet can't, like, just sit comfortably. Also, while I was cleaning off the top of this, I found this, which is an actual a suction heart that goes on the mirror that is a brush holder. So, that's perfect being that I couldn't fit everything into these two. So, we have the books. We have the boxes for the podcast. I mean, for the mic. We have an extra mic and we have, this goes on, this is a monitor that goes on top of a camera just so you can see yourself. We have the tripods over here. I don't know what I'm going to do with this mirror. I don't know. So what I'm going to go ahead and do though is take that box over there, the iMac box and put that back in here. And I'm also going to put the luggage back in here and then this is trash except for these two things right here well three things so this shouldn't take too much to clean up it's pretty much just getting it done then i have to go to my desk area i feel like we when i say we i mean me i feel like I, this area was not this bad and then once i cleaned out the closet it became this bad but it has to look bad before it looks better right all right okay you guys so i added my podcast mic right there i just leaned it up i just folded it down and leaned it up against the wall i could leave it out but i really don't want to um and i added the tripod bag this is the box for the imac and then i was able to get all of the luggage over here i could put the luggage up there too huh let me see. Hold on. Yeah, I think I'm going to just keep it up there so it won't be stacked. And then I feel like this desk got back dirty again once stuff started getting up there. Okay. So this area is looking much better. I do want an, another area where I can do my makeup. But right now, this is it. <sighs> now for this part. I have to go get the kids though. It's 410 and I need to go get them. So I'm going to do this when I get back. It shouldn't take too long though. We got the bulk of it out of the way. Ah, I feel so much better. Honestly, y'all, I did not think that this project was going to take me multiple days. I mean, it's not even a project. It's just decluttering. But it definitely has taken me multiple days. I left off with telling y'all that I had to go get the kids yesterday. <sighs> gym hair. I changed my glasses because the other glasses, when I'm at the gym, it's, it's like, you know, they big. So, the sweat be all right here. Uh -uh. So, anyway. Okay, y'all. So today we are getting this completed because I have things to do. This video has to go up today.
Okay, now we just gotta get, oh, under here. One of the babies did this. I might need to pull this whole rug back and over so that it'll cover this area up because a candle fell right here. And when the candle fell, of course the wax hard and quick. And then I tried to get it up and the stuff that, oh, you can't even, y'all can't even see, I'm just talking, sorry. A candle fell right there. A candle fell right there. Then right here, this thing with the gold legs fell and dented that up. This looks so plain right here though. Something, this is not, this area is not gonna be permanent. I definitely wanna do something with this wall. I might even make it a, you know, like a, um, a accent wall, but right now that's the best we can do. <laughs> So, I need to clean this mirror, clean the floors. I have these lights that I use, but the lights are only on when I'm filming. So honestly, I could put them up for right now, which I only film one day out of the week. So they don't need to be there just to be there. Oh. I'm a little dirty right here. Sorry. spider oh my gosh lord jesus help me do you see that oh my gosh y'all i don't do bugs like i don't do bugs like <laughs> but i gotta kill it because there's nobody else here oh shit Y'all, tell me. <laughs> Let me show y'all what I'm looking at that made me do that. Okay. Do y'all see those little dots on the camera? I was looking at the spider through the camera and I thought they were bugs. Lord, you can do this. Y'all, I really have a fear of killing bugs. like some dirt marks on the doors and let me show y'all what y'all need to see do you see that y'all see that yeah mm -hmm. she better be lucky i ain't see it until she will go y'all y'all see what cleaning up do i've been looking for this all over and i just so happen to put my hand under the, the um the computer holder right there the whole time y'all see what cleaning up do okay you guys let's get into the tour of my office room now i do want to say that this room is definitely not finished being decorated so i don't want y'all to think like oh you know this is like the finished product no this is just what i'm working with right now but it is my space of 
tranquility if you say so let's just start over here so as i was stating in the video this wall is definitely bare but i was able to put my dry erase board back on the wall and as you can see i have september goals up there you can be do or have anything and just different goals that i have for september saturday is october the first so we will be changing that soon we have an outlet over here so i do keep my camera battery charger in the wall and just bloop when i need it charged up i told y'all in the video but these little dents on the wall came from this stand and then the mark on the carpet came from me spilling a cam well actually i didn't do it but yeah <laughs> so a camera fell and the wax dried and i tried to scrub it out so we have our leaning wall mirror i do have a candle lit from target this stand came from i want to say ross no marshall's and over here on the wall i have a card that my mom gave me just randomly and it says Yvette you can do anything you put your mind to keep dreaming because God have some amazing things he wants to do with you love mom and then this never give up sticker I order a um a phone case and that was in the sticker so I was like oh my goodness that was meant to be <laughs> and then I have a hate won't live here sign that I got from Target that same day that I was cleaning up, I did purchase a diffuser. So this diffuser is a pineapple diffuser from Target also. And then I have a sign over here that says love and the E is broken off, but you can't really tell because it's kind of behind it. So over here, this is where the magic happens with me creating content. Well, not creating, but editing content. And I love this little space. One thing you might notice, this is the, I have a double workspace desk. So this area is where I create content. This area is for my day job. As you can see, this is more of my personality. This is not. I, 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 I was already doing it, but it, I was just kind of doing it unconsciously or not even realize that's what I was doing. But Tabitha Brown, she mentioned one day that if you know you are at a job that you don't necessarily want to stay at. And don't get me wrong, you guys. I love my job. I love my job. But I know that it's not my purpose. So I don't dress that area all up. <laughs> this is the area that I care more about. Um, because this is my baby. You know, I love creating content for you guys. Editing, being creative. It's just my thing. So I have a chair right here. And I only have one chair. I did, wanna, I did want two chairs. But I... Like this chair came from TJ Maxx. And if you know TJ Maxx, sometimes it's just like one of one. Or it might be another one, but it might be at a whole nother TJ Maxx. So I just seen this chair and I got it. I never got a second one. I was like, it's only one me. But one day I do want to have two chairs. So I also have a stand that I use to prop up my iMac because at first I did not have a stand. So it was sitting fairly low. So it was a little bit uncomfortable. So I got this stand from Target. It actually does have a wireless charger right here. Y'all see this little Thunderbolt? It's for a wireless charger, but your phone has to be compatible or whatever device you're using has to be compatible with this, which mine's is not, mine's aren't, but that's okay because I still liked the stand, but the stand do have two USB ports on the side that comes in handy. Up here, I have a crystal that I got from my friend and also some sage and Palo Santos which I got from my friend also shop grounded essentials, LLC.com. And I got this a hundred dollar bill, gold dollar bill from, I don't even remember the place, but it was a candle shop that we went to in Atlanta. And then this is just my external storage, my Apple watch in the drawers. I just have like miscellaneous things like thumbtacks, notepad, note, I mean, sticky notes. And then underneath I have a planner and I have a case that holds my SD cards and extra batteries. And then I also keep a lighter, right, a candle lighter right there so it won't get misplaced because I'm always looking for a lighter. And I have my essential oils right here for my diffuser. So this is that area. 
I have a stand for my phone as you can see and I also have a stand for my iPad and then this rainbow mouse pad I got from Target also. When I purchased the iMac I did intentionally write down that I wanted the green one but when I went in the orange was calling my name baby. So yeah. So on my windowsill I also have crystals that I got from my friend Grounded Essentials LLC and then right here. I got this a long time ago, you guys, from TJ Maxx. Um, it's just a uh, it says pencils, pens, and markers. You can't see this one. This one says markers on it. So I just keep that there. As you can see, I really don't use pencils, but I love stationery. So as you can see, this is all filled up with different colors. This knit came from when the desk was being put together. So I kind of just scoop this to cover that. <laughs> And then I just have a cord right here. That cord, I just keep my iPad plugged up so it can charge. Over here, this is my nine to five desk area. Really nothing to see. Then I have a plant and I have a calendar. Down here, I have a notebook that is a gratitude notebook. So I haven't written in it just yet, but I do keep it there just for the look of it. It's a gratitude notebook that I got from Target. And then these, let me get down further so y'all can see. These two candles, it, it came from the candle place I was just telling you about in Atlanta. Let me see if it say the name on it. It don't. But this one says breaking generational curses. And this one says I am divinely protected and guided at all times. Back here I have a book that my friend gave me. It is called The Bible in 52 Weeks. And I also have another book that I was reading called Ask and It Is Given. And then up here I have a devotional and I also have a notepad that I could write down my to-do list for the week. Whew. Also behind my desk area, as y'all can see, I have like two lights at the bottom. These are the same lights that I use that I showed y'all when I was cleaning up. Usually I was keeping them over here, but I just moved them behind here because I thought it was cute. I really don't like how all of these cords are showing. It just blows me, but unfortunately, that's just what it is right now. But when the lights are off, it looks really cute. I'll insert a little video. It's a mood. It's a vibe for real. So this carpet is so soft, you guys. It feels so good. My sister put me onto this carpet. This carpet actually came from Home Depot. It is so soft. I used to have it downstairs, but the kids, it was so soft that the kids would just make angels in it. Like, you know, like snow angels, but carpet angels. So they was doing that and messing it up. <laughs> so I just moved it in my office room. That same mirror that y'all see me asking, what should I do with it? I hung it up on the wall. And then this is my tripod that I love so, so much. This tripod I got from Amazon. It is by the brand Newer. And it just does so much. It's definitely heavy duty. It goes up tall. And this is not even as tall as it can go. It goes up tall. You can, like, if you're trying to do overhead shots, you can do all of that. So it's a very, it was expensive. It was expensive. But I feel like it's definitely worth it. And then this is my canvas wall. The infamous canvas wall that I love so much, you guys. It took me so long for to put these canvases up. At first, I just had them all, like, stacked up like at the bottom waiting for me to put it up and then I finally put it up and I love this wall so much. Let's just go through it real quick. So this one says boss babe, I don't like morning people or mornings or people. You can be you. This is just a woman sitting at the desk. The sooner you start believing in yourself, the sooner you'll start, you'll start seeing results. Never stop dreaming. I will never again take for granted the people and the places I love the most. I must be a mermaid. I have no fear of deaths. And <laughs> I laugh when I say that word because I have a hard time. And a great fear of shallow living. Dear fear, I have missed so much because of you. A uh old -oh, snap because the camera. <laughs> love one another. I have to be successful because I like expensive things. Blessed. Sorry, my phone died because y'all, my phone is always dying. I was not made to be subtle because period. I am an adult, but not like a real adult because for real, I'm real childish in real life. Well, like, <laughs> yeah, I can do all things. I, I can do all things. What happened to my eye? 
my eye must have fell. I can do all things that's supposed to say I put my mind to. I live in a madhouse run by a tiny army that I made. Cause duh. I want it all delivered. She believed she could, so she did set goals and crush them. I absolutely love this wall, you guys. And as I get more canvases, <laughs> is I have room. Okay. This is a Bath and Body Works. Um, what do they call these things? Wallflowers. So this is a Bath and Body Works wallflower. I did have a different one in here, a blue one, but it was just too manly for me, honey. So I changed it to this one. This is more like a fall scent, not too sweet, but just like a fall scent. And I just love this wallflower. This is the wallflower. This is the refill. This wallflower is more iridescent. I love it. And marks on the wall because who knows. <laughs> Then over here, we have the closet that we did so much because y'all help me y'all. We did so much with cleaning this closet. Over here, I just have all of my um, lights, tripods, podcast mic. Then I have my iMac box, my makeup, where I do my makeup at. Down here, I just have a couple of journals. And right here, I have a mouse just in case I need it for my job. And then behind that, I have some covers for my cameras. And then this is a coloring, uh, adult coloring book with markers. I have my storage items, oh, not storage y'all, what in the world? I have my luggage over here. And then this I bought from Target. It looks dirty because it is. It was in storage and everything, but I paid $8 for it. So I just was like, one day I, it might come in handy. So I just have it right there. And y'all saw me in the video, put my luggage up here. I also put the light up here where you can put your own quote, whatever you wanted to say, you can put it up there. I have an iPad case just in case I need it. And then just miscellaneous electronic items, mics, cores monitors different things like that then all of my books these are this is not even all of the books that i have i have more in my room but i stacked up my books right here and this is a case for my ipad pencil and here is just a little metal container and i have some makeup bags in there that are dirty my podcast mics some notebooks over there this goes to one of the tripods I put it over here since the tripods are right here and then I just have an extra over there it's a um, photo y'all I can't even a photo frame <laughs> an extra photo frame over there so that is it you guys that is my office room I have so much that I want to do with this room eventually like right now I mean, it's a cool space to do my makeup in. It definitely plays its part as far as me being able to do my makeup. But of course, it's, this is a closet. So eventually I want to make it into an actual, um, I thought about getting like a pack system from Ikea and taking off the doors. I don't know. We'll see. I do want to get a better plant because this plant I've had for a long time. <laughs> And it's a fake plant, so I'm definitely not getting a real one because that thing will be dead in a week. <laughs> so, yeah, so I just want to make this space, continue to make it more of my own. You know, it is my own. It does have my special touch to it because it's mine and I love it oh so much. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I am about to finish editing it. This is what I'm over here doing editing this video okay all right i love y'all bye